error tip. What's the difference in performance between a full time trial helmet and a standard helmet and something in between, like an aero road helmet like this, and how much time can you save with which helmet? So if you're doing triathlon or time trial, you'll probably tend to go towards a full time trial helmet like this one here. And if you're just a pure road cyclist, you're probably going to take your standard road helmet. But nowadays there's also something in the middle, which is what's now known as an aero road helmet. So if we take the benchmark as the full time trial helmet, a step to an aero road helmet is around about 3 watts at 35 kilometers an hour. And the step again to the standard road helmet is another 3 watts, so 6 watts difference at 35 kilometers an hour between these two. Now in terms of time on a 100 kilometer course with 1500 height meters, so quite hilly, this aero road helmet, although it's 3 watts uh, higher drag, will cost you around about 45 seconds in terms of time. And then the standard road helmet will cost you around about 1 minute and a half. So for the absolute ultimate in aerodynamic performance, you're going to go for the time trial helmet. These offer the slipperiest form, the lowest drag, but they tend to also suffer a little bit when it comes to cooling. As a final step, you might choose your standard road helmet. It's light, it's short, it's got a lot of ventilation in it. So nowadays there's a step in between, which is something like this, an aero road helmet. So it resembles a typical road helmet, but has a slightly longer tail and typically a little bit less cooling. Now a helmet like this will bring you around about a 3 watt penalty compared to a full time trial helmet, however it brings you a lot more cooling. So what are you going to choose if you're crossing over between standard road cycling and time trial, maybe you want to take something in between like an aero road or go to the extremes one or the other.